This is the Vatrer Vatrer V A T R E R Vatrer. No idea how you're supposed to say that. 12 amp hour group 24 lithium ion phosphate battery sent to me by the company. And we're going to take a look at it, put it on the capacity test today and see what it does. They put the red and the black covers over the uh, terminals, uh, the terminal screws on top of this battery. And I really like when they do that. So we're going to put it on this tester right now and see how it holds up. Little secret, I've already tested it. I know exactly what it's going to do, but I want to show it to you guys. So let's go. Okay, we've got it hooked up. Again, this is the West Mountain Radio CBA5 battery capacity test software. I like to see exactly what um, kind of capacity test it runs. So I'm gonna actually zoom in on that a touch. There we go. And we're gonna move that over there. Okay. So we're gonna take this right here and we're gonna do a detect. Now, the number of cells is four and the capacity is 100. And I'm gonna click on detect and it's, it's going to detect it at 13.3 volts. All of this other information is kind of irrelevant, so I'm going to say no amplifier down here. I'm gonna do an amplifier test one of these days. The cutoff is at 10 volts. And the test amps is one amp per hour. Where it's testing, well, it's testing one amp and it's gonna see how many hours it lasts. So if I click on start here, it's gonna throw it over there to the left. You're gonna see it starting, there it is. Pull that screen into view, starting right there. And we're gonna have to wait about four, a little bit over four days. 96 hours is four days. So we're going to wait 100 hours, hopefully, hopefully it comes in 100 hours, and we're going to see what it looks like. Four days later, 100 hours later, we are running at 100.061 amp hours. Exactly what it should be doing. Some of these batteries test two or three amps lower. Some of them test two or three amps higher. But if you buy a 100 amp hour battery and it gives you 100 amp hours in a capacity test, I'd say that is a win. Exactly what it should be doing. 12 196.11 watt hours and the total runtime was just over 6,000 minutes. So that is a very good capacity test for that battery. They have a uh, Vatrar or however you say their name. They have given me some discount codes. I will put those in the link below. Yeah, so check the links below and I'll see what kind of code. Right now, I've been trading two or three emails with this company and be quiet but let me tell you this they sent me a 460 amp hour battery so the next time i go on a two-week road trip the way i went to yellowstone i'm gonna start that and maybe it will be done by the time i get home that's what the thing <laughs> so that's gonna be a fun test i've taken it out there's a very well i already got it I already got it it's a very well-built battery very well-built battery i'm looking very forward to seeing what we can do with that and on that battery they gave me a code of ham radio 7 for a seven percent off i got to verify and see if that's going to apply to this 100 amp hour battery or not whatever the discount code is i'm going to put it in the description below so check the description below for links to both their website and amazon the the discount should work in both places but this is a good this is a group 24 battery so it's smaller than what you would call a regular regular sized 100 amp hour like a car battery sized battery it's smaller than that but it's not as small as the mini battery that we've seen out of some companies as well but this group 24 size is a great size i've got three or four batteries in this size they all work very well this one's no different comes in right where it should be so check the links in the description below and thank you to them for sending me this battery and for sending me a couple other batteries which you're going to see on this channel upcoming